But Doolittle's drinking and philandering didn't stop. He would frequently leave for days, even weeks at a time, leaving a destitute Loretta to fend alone for herself and her children. We dandelions, me and the kids, for almost two weeks. It was day to day that I just think, well, he'll come in tomorrow. He'll be home tomorrow. She was able to shoot game for the kids to eat, uh, pick greens for the kids to eat, and basically make it on her own from time to time when he did leave town. There has been three or four times I would have left him because uh, I had a reason to. But how can you go 3,000 miles with four kids and no money? One of them is toddling and one is a crawling. Coming up on CMT Inside Fame, Loretta's dreams come true. Bonnie, my sister-in-law, come on the phone. And she said, Loretta, are you sitting down? And I said, yeah. And later, Loretta deals with an unfaithful husband in her own special way. That's the way that I got him back, was write about it and sing to him. There. How you like that? <laughs> no. When CMT Inside Fame continues. In 1953, 18-year-old Loretta Lynn was living anything but the life of a woman of leisure. She was the mother of four with a philandering husband eight years her senior. To make matters worse, the couple was living in Washington State, far, far away from Loretta's family. Though she was surrounded by a family of her own, Loretta Lynn was, in many ways, all alone. It was, it was day to day that I just think, well, he'll come in tomorrow. He'll be home tomorrow. This went on, you know for two weeks. When Doolittle finally did return home, there was hell to pay. The relationship remained as volatile as ever, with Doolittle frequently using his hands to get his point across. But young Loretta gave as good as she got. Do never smacked me one time, but he didn't get two smacks back. I grew up tough. And I told Do one day, I wrote a song about it. I made out of tough stuff. <laughs> but he didn't uh, beat up on me without me hitting him back. Loretta's lot in life continued in the same vein for several years. She fended for herself and her children the best she could without the help of her family. She missed her life in Butcher Holler, especially her father. In 1959, at age 23, Loretta was awakened by a disturbing dream. 